Larnaca International Airport, Glafkos Chlorides IATA, LCA, ICAO, LCLK is an international airport located 4 km miles southwest of Larnaca, Cyprus. Larnaca International Airport is Cyprus' main international gateway and the largest of the country's two commercial airports, the other being Paphos International Airport on the island's southwestern coast. The airport was given its current name in July 2016, in honor of former President of Cyprus Glafkos Chlorides. History Larnaca Airport was hastily developed towards the end of 1974 after the invasion of Cyprus by Turkey on 20 July of the same year, which forced the closure of the Nicosia International Airport. The site on which it was built near the Larnaca Salt Lake had been previously used as an airfield in the 1930s and, subsequently, as a military installation by British forces. Larnaca International opened on 8 February 1975, with only limited infrastructure facilities and a prefabricated set of buildings comprising separate halls for departures and arrivals. The first airlines to use the new airport were Cyprus Airways, using Viscount 800s leased from British Midland, and Olympic Airways, using NAMCYS 11s. Initially, the runway at Larnaca International was too short for jet aircraft. Operations The status of Cyprus as a major tourist destination means that air traffic has steadily risen to over 5 million passengers a year. This is double the capacity the airport was first designed for. For this reason, a tender was put out in 1998 to develop the airport further and increase its capacity see below. Already completed elements of the expansion include a new control tower, fire station, runway extension, and additional administrative offices. The surrounding road network was improved by upgrading the B4 road and by completing the A3 motorway. A new junction has been constructed near the new terminal. The new terminal was built some 500 to 700 meters (1600 to 2300 feet) west of the old terminal, adjacent to the new control tower with new aprons and jetways. The old terminal building is slated to be partially demolished and refurbished as a cargo center, and is currently used as a private terminal for visiting heads of state, VIPs, and private aircraft operators. The airport's geographic location in between Europe, Africa, Russia, and the Middle East facilitates it as an airline hub for traffic and flight operations between these locations. It currently holds domestic, regional, and international passenger and cargo services by over 30 airlines. Notably, Gulf Air used to provide a non-stop service to New York JFK twice a week. Topic facilities The airport has one primary passenger terminal. Departures are accommodated on the upper level, while arrivals at the ground level. A second VIP terminal also exists, which is used for visiting heads of state, some private aviation, and for cargo. The airport utilizes a single large apron for all passenger aircraft. The concept architectural design of the passenger terminal was developed by French architects at Aéroports de Paris ADP with Sofriavia in France. Detail and tender design was completed in Cyprus by 1998, with local architectural office forum architects and a large engineering team under the coordination of ADP. The design was later used as a base for the BOT projects of both Larnaca and Paphos International Airports, though significant changes were made mainly on value engineering grounds. A large amount of controversy spurred by the local media surrounded the granting of the contract when it was put out to tender. A consortium led by BAA and Joanno and Periscavades J and P construction quickly pulled out when it did not receive assurances from the government of Cyprus that it would receive financial compensation in the event that direct flights were allowed between northern Cyprus and the rest of the world. The contract was eventually hastily granted to the next best bidder, the French-led Hermes consortium. This too, was not free of controversy, causing legal challenges by BAA and J&P, and adding further delays to a much-needed project. A €650 million Euros upgrade of the Larnaca and Paphos airports was completed in 2006. The international tender was won by Hermes Airports, a French-led group. 
The consortium is made up of Bouygues Bataman International 22%, Egas Projects 20%, the Cyprus Trading Corporation, a local retail group 10%, Yakovo Brothers, a local contractor 10%, Hellenic Mining 10%, Vancouver Airport Services 10%, Ireland's Dublin Airport Authority, Air Rianta International 10%, Cherilaus Apostolides, a local construction company 5%, and Nice Côte d'Azur Airport 3%. Hermes Airports built new passenger terminals and plans to extend the runways at both airports under a 25-year concession. A new terminal building opened on 7 November 2009. It has 16 jetways boarding bridges, 67 check-in counters, 8 self-check-in kiosks, 48 departure gates, and 2,450 parking spots. The new terminal can handle 7.5 million passengers per year. Infrastructure also features a large engineering hangar, a cargo terminal, and separate facilities for fueling and provisioning light aircraft. There is a second, smaller apron where cargo aircraft and private aircraft are often parked. There are also spaces for smaller aircraft for flying schools and privately owned aircraft separate from the main two aprons. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations. Passenger The following airlines operate regular scheduled and charter flights to and from Larnaca. Cargo Access The airport can be reached by car, taxi and public transport system. There is a shuttle bus system from, to Limassol, Nicosia, Protaras, Paralimni and Ayanapa. Local buses are available at the airport to various locations in Larnaca. Incidents and accidents On 13 October 1977, Lufthansa Flight 181, flying from Palma de Mallorca to Frankfurt, with 91 passengers and crew was hijacked by Four Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine members, and was diverted and landed in turn at the airports in Rome, Larnaca, Bahrain and Dubai. The Boeing 737 was then forced to fly on to Mogadishu Airport, Somalia, where a German anti-terrorist squad stormed the plane, killing three hijackers, arresting one and rescuing all passengers. The captain of the flight had previously been murdered by the lead terrorist. On 19 February 1978, Larnaca Airport was the scene of the Egyptian raid on Larnaca International Airport, a one-hour gun battle between Unit 777, an Egyptian military counter-terrorism force, who had raided Larnaca International, and the Cypriot National Guard. The crisis had begun the previous day, when Yusuf Sabay, editor of a prominent Egyptian newspaper and friend of Egyptian President Anwar el-Sadat, was assassinated at the Nicosia Hilton Hotel by two gunmen as he was preparing to to address the Afro-Asian People's Solidarity Organization conference being held at the hotel. The gunman, a Jordanian and a Kuwaiti, opposed to the Sadat regime, took 50 hostages among the conference attendees, including two representatives of the PLO who happened to be attending the conference. Non-Arab delegates and women were released shortly. Yasser Arafat, with the Cypriot President's Agreement, dispatched an unarmed force of 16 to assist with negotiations and any possible rescue operation. Through negotiations with the Cypriot government, the two attackers were allowed to board a plane to escape with their 15 remaining hostages, including the two PLO hostages. They forced the plane to approach several countries including Libya and Syria but each time their request to land was refused, so after refueling in Djibouti, the plane was forced to return to Larnaca Airport. Egypt then dispatched its entire anti-terrorist squad aboard a C-130 Hercules to deal with the hijacking. However, they did so without the knowledge or consent of the Cypriot government. On landing in Larnaca, the commandos launched an all-out assault on the DC-8, even as Cypriot negotiators had secured the hostage takers' surrender. Cypriot President Spiros Kipriano and other senior officials observing the events on site were forced to retreat from the airport control tower after it was hit by bullets. Eventually the Egyptian commandos surrendered to the Cypriot forces. 
The two hijackers were persuaded by the British pilots to give up. The hostages exited the aircraft unharmed once the shooting was over. The Cypriots counted eight wounded. Fifteen members of the 74-man Egyptian Unit 777 died. President Kipriano offered reconciliation and apologies, but maintained that Cyprus could not have allowed the Egyptians to act. Egypt and Cyprus each withdrew their diplomatic missions, and frosty relations between the two countries persisted for some time. The two hijackers were condemned to death by a Cypriot court, but the sentence was commuted by Kipriano and the hijackers released. On 5 April 1988, Kuwait Airways Flight 422, a Kuwait Airways Boeing 747, was hijacked, while en route from Thailand to Kuwait. After forcing the plane to fly to Iran, the hijackers forced the crew to fly the plane further west to Algeria, but the plane landed in Larnaca for refueling. Two Kuwaiti hostages were murdered by the hijackers and their bodies were thrown out on the airport's runway. The hijacking ended in Algeria on 20 April 1988. As a result of the 2006 Lebanon War, the Lebanese airline Middle East Airlines evacuated its fleet to Larnaca. Also as a result of the 2006 Lebanon War, a Canadian military aircraft carrying Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper and Canadian citizens fleeing the war, landed in Larnaca. Cyprus served as a safe haven for many nationals during the crisis. The Prime Minister was coming home from a visit to Afghanistan but landed in Larnaca to pick up Canadians who had been evacuated from Lebanon, and took them back to Canada. On 28 August 2007, three construction workers were injured when a complete 5 m x 40 m concrete floor collapsed at the construction site for the new passenger terminal. On 29 March 2016, Egyptair Flight 181, operated by Airbus A320-232 GCB, was hijacked whilst on a flight from Borg El Arab Airport to Cairo International Airport. The aircraft landed at Larnaca. The hijacker claimed to be wearing an explosive belt, but it was later revealed to be fake. <laughs> Notes <laughs>